Hey, it's Radha. Today I wanted to share a recording of my classroom yesterday called Repair and Recover. So this class is all about taking care of our bodies and each week I ask participants what's bothering them and we use 30 minutes to fix everybody's issues. So yesterday's class was focused on the knees and shoulders, but it really definitely helped the hips, the quads, and the lower back and neck. So we really hit all the, all the spots. So I think if you do this sequence for the next 25 minutes, your body's gonna be feeling great. And I just wanted you to have it as a little resource for when you're not feeling so hot and you need to get the blood circulating and your body moving better and eliminate those aches and pains. So if you ever want to participate in the class, it's on Thursday mornings at 7 to 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's available through my website, theflexibilityguru.com, and on ClassPass. All right, I hope you enjoy. So just making sure the wrists are under the shoulders, knees below the hips, and we're just gonna warm up with some cat-cow. So just rounding your spine as much as you can. When you push up, really think about pulling your chin and your tailbone towards each other. And then as you sink the ribcage down, really push up through the shoulders and imagine you could bring the back of your head to your tailbone. And then just keep switching from one to the next, just getting the back warmed up. Now this time as you round up, I'm going to have you pull your right hip back as far as you can. So it's pretty subtle. It's not going to be a huge movement. You're just trying to create length in the right side. So even pull the right shoulder forward and pull the right hip back. And then just do the other side. Pull the left shoulder forward slightly, pull the left hip back. And you really curve your spine up. Good. And then just come back to center. We're gonna do a similar thing with the, the camel and just drop the rib cage down, lift up through the shoulders. And this time you're gonna to try to pull your right shoulder and your right hip towards each other. And then pull the left shoulder and left hip towards each other. And then you can just explore, move around here another minute just kind of see what feels good and play with your shoulders, play with the hips and tailbone. We're just going to push it back to child's pose for a quick stretch. So you're just going to push your butt back towards your heels and then walk your hands forward. So from here, we're going to start foam rolling the quadriceps. Do you guys have a half size or do you have the long one? Uh, I have a half. half. Okay, so we're going to do just one quadricep at a time today. So start with it underneath the right hip, like right on that hip flexor area. And so first, this hip area right kind of at the groin is what gets really, really tight when we're sitting all the time. So just really push down, kind of rock a little side to side, trying to just get that a little less tense. And then I'm gonna have you start to roll down the front of your thigh. So down the quadricep, go really slow. And I want you to think about just this top one third of the quadricep right now. And I want you to just roll that one third of it back and forth. Try to put as much weight as you can. 
and go slowly and notice if there's any little hot spots that feel really painful. You just want to take a deep breath and pause there for a moment. And then we're going to do the middle section. So the middle third of the quadricep, just go back and forth. You can kind of go side to side here a little bit. And then the last part we'll do right above the knee. So come forward a little bit more. Rock back and forth, just that bottom third. And then do a little side to side movement. And then we're gonna roll all the way back up, slowly. And what we're gonna do is stay on the same leg, just change the angle of your foot. So you're gonna change your angle so your foot's out, the arch of your foot's touching the floor. And you can kind of shift some where your inner thigh is on the roller. So now we're still getting the quadriceps, but we're gonna get more of like the adductors and inner thigh. So just roll your way down. Oh yeah, I feel that. Feel the difference? <laughs> And generally with the quadriceps, we're gonna roll them at all three angles. You're gonna find which angle is the most intense for your body. And that's my recommendation for your go-to each time. It's just, you know, if you're short on time, can't get all three angles in, just go to that most tense, most filled with hot spots <laughs> angle. And then when you're done with that, you're going to do the opposite. So you're going to put the outside edge of your foot on the floor and roll. So you're still on the quadricep, but you're kind of approaching the IT band. So this is where it can get more painful for people because you are on the IT band a little bit. And just try to make sure you're not creating more tension in your shoulders and neck. Just try to be mindful of that. It is hard to not hold a little tension there. And then when you're done, we're gonna switch over to the other leg. So if you want, you can just kind of come up, roll your shoulders a second, and then do the other side. So with a straight foot first, and get the hip flexor right on the roller. And then just kind of roll the hip flexor first, try to break down any tension in the psoas. And then start to roll. We'll break it up again into thirds. So just focus on that top one third of the quadricep. Middle section. You can do a little side to side movement, see if that helps. And then all the way down to the knee. So then we'll change it so the arch of your foot is on the floor, rotating outwards, getting the inner thigh more on the foam roller. Just work your way all the way down. Nadia, does this leg feel the same as your other one? I mean, yeah. they're both kind of sore because I tried running for the first time in months. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that happens. So this is perfect. You should feel better after this. <laughs> okay. And then get that other side. So put the outer edge of your foot on the floor. 
now you're still on the thigh, but almost on the IT band. And if it's painful, just slow down. Just try to, when we experience pain, sometimes what we do is our muscles contract and then you're not gonna be able to penetrate them with the foam roller. So once you have pain, just kind of breathe into it, try to let your muscle relax, hang out there, and then you can kind of move a little bit. take a break from the foam roller <laughs> and you guys have a strap you can use. You're gonna lay down on your back with the strap behind your right knee and we're gonna be moving it around in a big circle so if you don't have a strap you can use a towel or a belt like anything that just gives you a little bit longer arms. <laughs> So pull the knee in towards your belly, let the heel drop down and just completely relax. We're gonna be moving your leg in the biggest circle possible. So bring it out wide and then slowly to the center and across to the left as much as you can and then back into the center. Let's so just do that a few times. You can go slow, you can go quick. This is creating more synovial fluid in the hip joint, so it just lubricates it and looks a little bit better. But you'll also find little areas that you have restrictions in. So it's good to just, you know, if you feel a little sticky spot, just hang out there, try rocking it up and down. See if there's any extra movements you can get to get rid of that gooey, sticky spot. And then move it in the opposite direction a few times. See if you notice any differences in the way the hip moves in one direction versus the other. Good. So from here, we're going to do the same thing with the, the knee. We're going to try. So you're just holding the strap still. So that's just holding your knee in place so you don't have to have as much effort. And you're going to try to make the biggest circle you can with your knee. <laughs> so it's kind of like making a big circle with your heel. And just think about moving that joint in the biggest circle as possible. And just see if there's any angles you're experiencing pain or it doesn't quite move in a circle. opposite direction. Good, do a few little ankle circles. switch legs. So just switch over to the other side. Strap behind the knee, let the heel drop and relax. We're going to bring it out wide to the left, center, and cross to the right. Generally everyone's a little lopsided so you look You'll find different areas that might be better on this side or worse. Most people are right-handed, so the left hip is actually worse than the right hip for most people. And then in the opposite direction. Just hold the knee in a 90 degree angle here. 
Let's do the circles with your heel. Just take it slow, really, really explore like how, how much can you bend your knee? It obviously doesn't go in a full circle, but what angles can you get your knee at? Opposite direction. Gonna do a few ankle circles. Uh, that's it for the strap there. We're gonna roll out your middle back. So we're gonna take the roller right here. So it's kind of like place it behind you and right where your bra strap would be is where the roller should be. So from here, you're gonna just take your hands behind your neck so your head's supported. And you're gonna go side to side. So think about bringing your right elbow to your right hip and then over left elbow to left hip. And just do that a couple times side to side. And then see if you can roll the butt down an inch, which should place the foam roller up an inch. So it's just a little bit higher and do the same thing again. See if you can go a little bit more. So slide your butt down, let the roller go higher, side to side again. And then if you want, you can try to lift your butt up and then roll up and down the spine right there a little bit. the ball to work on your shoulder. So you guys have a ball? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're gonna place the ball underneath. Well, I'm gonna show you on my back. So I didn't get that. Try tapping above today. Try placing it kind of right somewhere along here. So if it's at the base of the shoulder blade, or higher up, you're gonna find sweet spot when you lay down. So you're okay. just gonna- There's a bad spot there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on both sides or just one? Uh, predominantly uh, one side. Okay. So oh. start on your good side that has less pain. <laughs> <laughs> and place the ball down and you're just gonna lay back. So for me, this ball's a little big, so if my head falls back, I'm almost in like a little back bend. So if that's the case, you just wanna grab something to support your head. So placing the ball down, let your body relax and just focus on relaxing because it should probably hurt a little bit just at the starting point. And from here, you're gonna, the arm that the ball is under, you're gonna reach that one up to the ceiling. So then reach up to the ceiling like you could touch it and then slowly let your shoulder come down towards the mat. Try to retract the shoulder blade back and then reach back up to the ceiling. And retract and reach. So then just come to kind of a neutral spot and we're gonna be doing a big arm circle. So reach the arm up over your head and then slowly bring it out wide, down, and all the way across to the left as far as you can reach. 
if that's not painful, all you need to do is lift your hips up and I'll put a lot more weight on the ball. So pick your poison. <laughs> And go in the opposite direction. Good. Then I want you to just see if there's a different spot so you can kind of scoot your butt down and roll the ball up a little. You can manually move it with your hand. Just trying to get it in a slightly different area doing the same thing again. Big circle all the way around. And opposite direction. Okay. And take out the ball. And just notice how it feels between your shoulders right now, like one versus the other. Hopefully you feel a little bit more warmth and openness. Should move a little bit better. We'll do the other side. So hopefully now that you know how it felt on the good side, you'll be a little bit more prepared for the side that's a little more painful. <laughs> so just start by placing the ball under the other shoulder blade. <laughs> and just try to relax on top of it. Let your body soften. Make sure it's in the right spot. And then reach your arm up. So we'll reach the arm up to the ceiling and then retract the arm back down. the full circle, reach overhead, go slow, out wide, use your breath, really slow, deep breathing, the longer you exhale, the more it helps you relieve pain. And then take it in the opposite direction. an inch to a slightly different spot and then do the circles again. You sit back up, grab whatever strap you have, and do a little bit of the shoulder flossing. <laughs> I know your favorite, but it's way better when you're forced to do it. <laughs> so let's start with hands like shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna reach up overhead. Reach, reach, reach to the top and see if you can bring your arms back at all. And then from here, see if you can bend side to side. Good. All right, let's drop it down again. See if you can place your hands any wider and do the same thing again. Lift up, reach to the ceiling, reach back as far as you can, open up the chest. Don't let it pull your rib cage back too. So if you're all the way back here, try to keep the rib cage pulled down slightly and just bring your arms back. And then you can do that side bending again. And 
and then just think about flossing your shoulders. So more, you can do the side bends, but you can just move the arms around. You're really trying to kind of floss the shoulder joint, get it moving at every angle you can. Bring it back as wide as you can. If you want to bring your hands wider, to bring them all the way down. Or you can just grab your strap behind you from the bottom and try to work it from the bottom up. And just the same thing, you're just kind of lifting up. You can twist a little side bend. Just trying to get the shoulder joint more mobile and open. And relax that. Do just some shoulder rolls. to your shoulder and hold it there and now just bring your chin down towards your collarbone and pull your chin closer to your shoulder good other side so start by bringing your ear to your other shoulder and then slightly turn the chin down towards the collarbone Roll the neck gently from side to side. Explore any angle that feels good. 